Puppet simplifies the updating and managing of complex configuration across your infrastructure by using a simple declarative language. This video will introduce you to three key building blocks of the Puppet language, resources, classes, and modules. But first, it's important to understand what a declarative language is. Say you're building a skyscraper. You wouldn't tell the construction workers where to put each individual nail and wire. You'd tell them what you want the building to look like when it's complete. Puppet's language behaves much the same way. You describe what you want your infrastructure configuration to look like, not the steps to get there. Puppet software will take care of the rest and ensure that your system is behaving the way you want it to. Resources are the most fundamental way you'll communicate with your infrastructure. They are how you describe how you want some aspect of your system to behave. Each resource has a type and a name, followed by attribute value pairs. Let's say you had an SSH service that you wanted to make sure was always running. Well, there you go. You have a resource type, a service, and its name, SSH. Then you use the ensure attribute and set its value to running. Make sure the SSH service is running. During a puppet run, it will check on the state of this and all other resources. If it finds a mismatch between your desired state and the actual state, the necessary changes are made. There are many types of resources, and the ones you'll use most often are already built right into Puppet, including file, package, service, and user. But you can also write custom resources to fit your needs. Multiple resources can be combined and distributed together using classes. Let's take our SSH service example and put it inside a new class. This class contains multiple resources, including a package and a file. When you assign this class to a node, the node will receive all of the included resources at once, and you can assign the class to as many nodes as you need. Resources and classes are written inside manifest files. Manifest files end in a .pp extension, and can be organized, distributed, and shared using the third Puppet language building block, modules. A module is simply a directory tree containing manifests and other files, all packaged and organized in a way that your system understands. Puppet will dynamically load the module's content, making all included classes and resources available for use across your system. Modules can be custom written to meet the specific needs of your infrastructure but you may not need to start from scratch. There are thousands of modules available for download at the Puppet Forge, written by Puppet developers and community members. Resources, classes, and modules, all fundamental parts of Puppet's powerful declarative language. To learn more about Puppet, visit puppet.com.